So when I was in high school, I was a sort of little ball of anti-people energy, just, you know, a real misfit, mistrusting son of a gun. And I decided to take out my energy, all this frustration I had from within, and I was going to put into a great play. And I remember I was working on it, you know, when I was supposed to be working in class. And one day in the middle of English class, the teacher announced that we would not be able to log onto our computers and that it was possible that all the information on our computers would be lost forever because, I don't know, people had overfed the servers or I'm not really sure how technology works. But I was very upset about this. The teacher was like, this is probably a backup of your files. I was like, what? No one told me nothing. And if they did, I didn't listen because they're all a bunch of idiots. I was mad. I was so upset at the technology people. I tried to communicate with them, but with you know, with, since the servers were down, there was no email, no nothing. So what I did was I picked up my little school laptop and I wrote into the password. I swear, if you cost me my Pulitzer, and I hit send, and then they came back up. And a couple months later, I finished my play and oh, I. Mm, uh, bad? Well, you know, uh, so there's this one scene in the play where this one character confronts another character, or tries to, but instead a bear shows up and and just attacks one of the guys and, like, breaks his arm and then leaves. Because, you know, he's a grizzly bear but wasn't really feeling hungry, just violent, I suppose. And I don't think I really had a very good understanding of grizzly bears or the bro species that I had written about, you know, the bros. So... I was I was I was so embarrassed and humiliated by actually reading what I had written that I was like, oh geez, I just I just I shut it off. I never worked on it again. I never got to that second draft that could have been slightly less horrible. And you know, from then on, you know, I kind of would express myself hopefully in ways that I understood better. You know, just talking out my feelings or thoughts or whatever my silly gags or whatever on stage. I did stand up for a number of years, but eventually, kind of just spewing. I wouldn't say hatred, but just anger anger about you know your living situation only take you so far and one day i decided to actually open up about you know the thing i'm most um most vulnerable about most insecure about and you know you might think well your mom no actually no love you mom um so i, I opened up about it on stage and i i got off stage and waiting for me were a couple of bros and the, the fro bro in front the nicest of all the bros with his big old shining smiling twinkling little cheeks he's like hey he's like hey jeremy just so you know we're all friends, and I, I, my response was, Oh, snap! That's the name of my play I wrote in high school that was awful. I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking. I was like, what? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to, if I want to do my one-person show, that's what I'm going to have to name it. And I, I hope you'll come because, well, you know, we're all friends.